Hey guys, it's Mrs. Chef Check. Today we are going to be learning how to show our work algebraically for multi-step equation. These are all the steps for how to solve an equation. Now, not every equation will require us to use all six steps, but we do want to go in this order each time we try to solve an equation. And uh, what I'd like you guys to do is either write this down in your notebook or take a screenshot of it so you have it for later reference. Uh, we're going to keep moving and we'll look at this as we go through some examples. The other thing I included here is just a reminder that when we solve equations, we need to use our reverse order of operations. So we undo our addition and subtraction before we undo our multiplication and division. And you'll see what I mean as we keep going through some examples. All right, here's our first equation. I like to always start by drawing a line down the center of my equal sign, just to remind myself that whatever I do on one side, I must do to the other side as well. All right, let's go down our checklist and see what we can do to this equation to figure out what x equals. Step one tells us distribute if needed. Well, there's no distributive property in this problem. There's no parentheses or anything we need to worry about. So step one, we can move on from. Step two tells us to combine like terms. So if we have any like terms on the same side of the equal sign, we would have to combine those. But we don't have to do that on this problem because our terms are already combined. Step three tells us to move all the variables to one side using inverse operations. And this tip right here is one of the most useful things I can tell you. Move the smaller variable first. And what I mean by that is on this particular equation, you notice we have a 5x on the left side and a 2x on the right side. Which of those is smaller? Well, 2 is clearly smaller than 5, so that's the one we're going to work on getting rid of first. So to do that, I'm going to use the inverse operation here, and I'm going to take 2x off of both sides. And when I do that, I am left with just 24 over on the right-hand side. And now on the left-hand side, 5x minus 2x is 3x. And I just bring down that 3 plus 3. And so now I have 3x plus 3 equals 24. So um, step 3 is complete. As a side note, if I had gotten rid of this 5x first instead of the 2x, I would have taken 5x off of both sides. That would also work. However, I would then be left with 2 minus 5 here, which would be a negative 3x. And it's totally doable, but there's an extra element uh, involved at the end that sometimes confuses people. So I like to show you ways that'll make it a little easier. Okay, so moving on. Step four, now that we've got all our variables on one side, let's move all of our numbers to the opposite side of the equal sign, again, using our inverse operations. So when I look at this, I see 3x plus 3 equals 24. I need to go ahead and subtract 3 because that's the opposite of adding it. And when I subtract 3 from the left, I have to make sure I also do that to the right. And what I'm left with, I bring down 3x equals 21. Now, even if at this point I know what x is, I'm still going to show that I'm isolating my variable, step 5 here, um, by dividing by 3. And the reason I do that is because division is the inverse of multiplying. And so instead of doing x times 3, I divide it by 3, and that gives me x all by itself. And 21 divided by 3 is 7. Now our final step we haven't really focused on too much is checking our solution. This is an important piece because it lets us know if our answer is correct. So what I'm going to do is I am going to rewrite my original equation, but instead of x, I'm going to put what we got for x. So instead of 5 times x, I'm going to put 5 times 7 plus 3 equals 2 times 7 plus 24. And now I'm going to see if the left side equals the right side, then we know it's balanced and our equation is, our solution is correct. Well, 5 times 7 is 35, and 35 plus 3 equals 38. So if the other side also equals 38, we are good to go. 2 times 7 equals 14, and 14 plus 30, or 24 equals 38. Our solution checks. So we know with a lot of confidence here that x equals 7. All right, let's take a look at another one. Let's just go step by step. First, 
Draw my line down the center to remind me that I'm doing everything to both sides. Um, step number one here, there's nothing to distribute, so we don't need to worry about that. Step number two, combine like terms. I do see some terms here that can be combined. I have a 3x and I have a plus 3x. Make sure you grab that sign in front whenever you're combining terms. 3x plus 3x is 6x, and then I have plus 3 equals 4x plus 9. So the only thing we did there was combine our x's on the left side of our equation. We are done combining like terms. Step 3 says move all the variables to one side using the inverse operation. So I'm looking at this saying I've got 6x on the left and 4x on the right. Remember my tip, move the smaller variable first. So what I'll do then is I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides to get rid of that one, uh, but I have to also do that to the left side. So 6x minus 4x becomes 2x, and I bring down this plus 3 equals, now I just have 9 over on the right-hand side. We are done with step 3. Step four, now that we have all of our variables on one side, let's move our other numbers to the opposite side. So I have a plus three here. To undo that, or the inverse operation, I need to subtract three. And you'll see here I end up with two x equals six. Step four is complete. Step five, almost there, let's isolate that variable. In order to get x by itself, I need to undo this multiplication because 2x means we're multiplying x by 2. To undo that, we have to divide by 2 so that x is all by itself. But if I do it to the left, got to do it to the right. And I see x is equal to 3. Final step here, we need to go in and check our solution. So I'm going to rewrite my equation. I have 3 times 3 plus 3 plus 3 times 3, holy moly, that's a lot of 3s, equals 4 times 3 plus 9. All right, if the left side equals the right side, when we simplify this, we know our answer is correct. I have 9 plus 3 plus, we've got to do our multiplication here, 9, and I have, on this side, I've got 12 plus 9. Let's simplify a little more. 12 plus 9 is 21. 9 plus 3 is 12, and 12 plus 9 is 21. 21 does equal 21, so woohoo, our answer checks. All right, I picked this equation because these sometimes confuse people with that division in there, but the steps still remain the same. Let's go ahead and draw our line and go through our checklist. Is there anything to distribute? No, so we're done with step one. Step two, any terms we can combine? Nope, keep on moving. Step three, all of our variables are already on one side, so we don't need to worry about that. Step four, now that all of our variables are on one side, so we just have one X and it's on the left, um, we need to move this plus eight over to the other side. So how do I undo adding eight? Well, I'm going to subtract eight. If I do that to the left, I'm going to do it to the right, and I drop down what's left. x divided by 2 equals 10. All right, done with step 4. Now our final step here, this is again where sometimes people get confused. You just have to remember what this right here means. This means some number divided by 2 gives me an answer of 10. So if I want to undo that dividing by 2, I need to multiply it by 2. And if I multiply the left by 2, we know now I have to multiply the right by 2. 2x divided by 2 is just x. Whoa, that's a crazy x. And then 10 times 2 is 20. So we think x is 20. Let's check if our answer is correct. I do 20 in place of x. Here's my check. 20 divided by 2 plus 8. Let's see if that equals 18. 20 divided by 2 is 10. 10 plus 8 equals 18. So we know that x does in fact equal 20, and we were correct. All right, it's your turn. Are you ready to try one for yourself? Pause the video, 
show your work on your page, and then hit play when you're ready to check your answer. All right, x equals 4. If you got that, you can continue on with some practice. If you did not get that, let's go through these steps here together. All right, I'm going to take 5x off of both sides so that on the left side I have 11 equals 7x minus 5x is 2x. 2x plus 3 is left on the right-hand side. Then I'm going to undo that, sub or that addition by subtracting 3 from both sides, and I have 8 equals 2x. And my final step to isolate that variable is to divide both sides by 2. So I'm left with x and 4, so x equals 4. To go ahead and check my answer, I have 5 times 4 plus 11 equals 7 times 4 plus 3. And again, I'm just going to label this as my check. And I have 20 plus 11, that's 31. And I want to see if that's equal to 28 plus 3. And it is. The left side equals the right side, so my answer checks. Couple final reminders. Remember, whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. And you want to be get used to showing your step down your page as you go. And then follow the reverse order of operations. And make sure that you prove your solution by showing your check. Have fun practicing and let me know if you need any help.